so now we gonna discuss the third problem from the Stivers SD sheet in the day 5 that is the merge to sorted linked list so you are given two head of two sorted linked list list 1 and list 2 merge the two list in one sorted list the list should be made by splicing together the node of the first two nodes and return the head of the merge so let me explain you the test case this is list 1 this is list 1 this is list 2 we have to merge these these link link list are sorted so these two are sorted these two are sorted so what we have to do we have to return we have to merge these sorted link list and we have to return our merged link list we have to merge the link uh, the two link list in the sorted manner okay so in the sorted manner what we'll have our link list our bigger link list will be formed which will be sorted okay so what we'll do how would we approach the question so how would we approach the question let me try to explain the test case so we have one two three okay one three and four so these are list two list list one and list two we have to merge them in a sorted manner so how will we gonna do it so the we have a pointer that is head one head two that is pointing to the head of the link list that is the start of the link list so what we'll do we'll maintain these are pointers two pointers we'll maintain a temporary pointer that is t1 for link uh, list one and t2 for list two in the initial stage it will be pointed pointing to the head of each of the linked list so t1 will be pointing to the head one or the head of link list one and t2 will be pointing to the head of link list two. so we'll do one thing what we'll do we'll check if the value stored at T, we compare the value stored at T1 and T2 and whichever value is smaller we gonna maintain a root because we have to return the linked list now and we uh, for the linked list we have to return the root for the merged linked list so we'll make a pointer for the list node that is root of merged initially it would be pointing to null what we'll do what is the condition at the starting the root merged will be pointing to null okay and after comparing the value of the of the pointer of the temporary pointer t1 and t2 which one of them is smaller we gonna make the root merged at the first at first comparison at first comparison what we are going to do whichever value is smaller we are going to put it into the root merge so let's suppose uh, in the in the given condition both are same let's suppose we are taking t1 because both values are same you can take any of them so we are taking t1 and making our t1 pointer move to the next node and now we maintain our t3 pointer that is the temporary pointer for the merged node that will be pointing to root merge so what is what will be the situation in this so this is our merged link list so now it uh, have only the one only one node and root merged is pointing to this node and t3 is also pointing to this node now we again compare the value of t1 and t2 
so t1 value is 2 t2 value is 1 so we need the minimum value so we make the t3 node points to the smaller value that is node 1 and t3 moves here and t2 what we'll do moves to the next node in the respective link list okay now we'll compare the value of t1 and t2 which one is smaller we can take we will take that value so 2 is smaller we will take that node we will take that node and make that node link to the t3 now our t3 will point to this okay now our t1 will point to this because we have merged this these nodes in the link list now we will compare the value of t1 and t2 these uh, values are same we can take any one of the value let's suppose we have taken this one this one so we have merged it into the bigger link list now our t3 points here and t1 points to null now when any of the link list length is over we uh, we have the link list individual link list as sorted so what we gonna do we gonna dump these remaining link list into the merged link list so we'll merge the remaining link list link list 2 in the merged link list so what we'll do we'll merge the link list 2 in the bigger link list so we'll merge it and we'll return the root merged pointer okay so it would be more clear when we uh, when I explain you the code and I run through a test case to make it more clear. Okay. Uh, so I look at we look at the code. Uh, one second. One second. One second. One second. Okay. So if if the root of any of the linked list is pointing to null. If any of the link list is empty, we're gonna return the alternative link list. Okay. If this one, if this one is empty, we're gonna return this one. And this one is empty, we're gonna return this one. This is the basic condition. And if both are empty, we're gonna return them. So this is the basic condition. What is the next thing we're gonna do? We have two pointers, two temporary pointers, i and j. That's storing the head of to the link to link list and the root node root of the merged root of the merged link list initially it will be pointing to null okay then we'll compare if the value of the of the first uh, if the value pointed by the temporary pointers of both the link list and which one of them is smaller we wanna make our root node with that value okay and move the corresponding and move the corresponding temporary pointer points to the next node of the particular link list. So if the node of first link list is smaller, if the value of node of first link list is smaller, we gonna make we gonna store that value in the root node and make the temporary pointer points to the next node and if the case is that the value of pointed by the j pointer is smaller we want to store the value of j the root and moves the temporary pointer of that particular link list to the next one okay so what is the next thing we want to do we want to maintain our temporary pointer for the bigger link list or the merged link list cmp and we're gonna check the condition if any of the linked list temporary pointers these are the temporary pointer if any of the temporary pointers point to the null then we're gonna end this loop so this loop is basically to find the uh, the smaller elements and push it into the bigger link list so we'll check if the uh, value pointed by the i pointer 
is less than the value pointed by the J pointer, we're going to store it into the merge linked list and move that pointer to the next node. Same we are doing here. And if any of the pointer points to the null, this loop will end. Then we we going to execute the condition that the remaining part of any of the linked list, we're going to merge it, we're going to dump it into the merge linked list. Okay, so this is the code for this. So at the end, we're going to return the root of the merge linked list. Okay, so let me run the code. And I will explain you one more test case. I will explain you one more test case to get a better insight. Okay, so it will be submitted successfully. Let me take one more example to explain it more clearly. So let's suppose our linked list is one, four, six, and we have two, three, five. So these are the two linked lists. Our first temporary pointer for the list one is pointing here to the root of the linked list. Second temporary pointer will be pointing to the root of the second second linked list. And we have we have to make a linked list that will be formed by merging these two linked lists. Okay. So what we'll do? One thing. One second. What we'll do? What we'll do? We'll check at the starting condition the root of the merged linked list is pointing to null. Okay. We'll compare the values pointed by the by the temporary pointers for the individual linked list for the respective linked list. We'll check which of the uh, which one of the values is smaller. We gonna make it our make our root node by that value. So one so node one will be covered in our merged linked list and we'll move the temporary pointer to the next node. Okay. So this is the root of the merged linked list and we maintain a temporary pointer let's suppose t3 to extend our merged linked list. Okay. So from these two temporary values, uh, from the values pointing by the temporary pointers, which one of this smaller, we want to store it into the merge link list and moves the pointer to the next node. Which one of them is smaller, we want to store it into a link list, we want to move it to the next. Which one of these values is smaller, we want to dump it into a link list. We're going to make the temporary pointer points to the next node. Which, of, which one of them is smaller? The link will merge it into a link list and make the temporary pointer point to the next node. And when any of the uh, link list is over, we're going to dump the remaining part of another link list into the merge link list. So this is how we're going to solve this problem. So if you have any doubt, feel free to ask in the comments. Bye.